Settling the Fine, a guide to understanding and using the phrase. Hello everyone, today, we're going to dive into a commonly used English phrase, settle the fine. Understanding this phrase is not only important for daily conversation, but it also gives insight into cultural and legal contexts where it's often used. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to help you master it. Settle the fine is a phrase used to describe the action of paying a penalty, usually money, imposed for breaking a law or rule. It implies resolving a legal or formal issue by making a payment. This phrase is often associated with traffic violations, library dues, or small legal infractions. Understanding where a phrase comes from can often help in remembering and using it. Settle the fine comes from legal contexts. Settle means to resolve or conclude something, and fine refers to a monetary penalty. Together, they form a phrase used in legal and formal situations. While settle the fine is formal, it's also used in everyday language. For example, if someone receives a parking ticket, they might say, I need to settle this fine quickly. It's a phrase that is understood universally in English-speaking countries, making it a useful addition to your vocabulary. Let's look at some examples to see how it's used in context. 1. After parking in a no-parking zone, I had to settle the fine at the city office. 2. She settled her library fine to borrow more books. 3. In the court, he agreed to settle the fine instead of contesting the ticket. A common mistake learners make is confusing, settle the fine, with general debts. Remember, this phrase is mostly used for legal or official penalties, not for personal debts or loans. That's all for today's lesson on the phrase, settle the fine. I hope this video has made the meaning and use of this phrase clearer. Remember, learning phrases like these not only improves your English but also helps in understanding the culture and legal systems where English is spoken. Keep practicing, and see you in our next lesson.